Hi and hello my scrappy friends and welcome back to my channel today. As you can see I've got another share for cut to you and today I'm using this gorgeous rainbow burst cut file. I absolutely love it. Um, I created this page which was actually a Christmas gift for um, a family friend and I've just got a little bit of a tutorial here to show you what I've done with my cut file. So I've dragged and dropped it to open it in Silhouette Studio. I'm resizing it and I'm just going to, um, I'm just getting it to the right size, making sure I'm happy with it. And I'm going to erase some lines. Um, so I've got the eraser tool here and you can see I'm just erasing that end line there. And then I'm also erasing those ones. Now, yes, I realize when I cut this, it's not gonna cut. So what I've done is I've cut it on that piece of white, texture white cardstock gone in with a lead pencil and I've just followed that line right to the edge. I've left it on my cutting mat. It would I knew it would make it much easier for me to use my craft knife to cut these rainbow pieces. So I'm just using my craft knife and going through and cutting that. Um, all done now. I've erased the lines as I've gone. You can see here I'm just peeling it off my mat, being a bit careful because it is um, quite a flimsy cut file at this point because I it doesn't have that sealed edge on the right. And so I'm going to, it's kind of where I want it on the page. I am going to trim that uh, white cardstock down by the time I'm finished. There we go. I'm going to mount it on this blue pattern paper. I am using the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Daydream collection for this. Um, and I've pulled out the 6 by eight paper pad. The photo that I'm using, um, you would have seen right at the beginning, has lots of this mustard, mustardy kind of yellow in it. And I really, really am currently loving that colour a lot. So I pulled out all the scraps that I've got left in the 6x8 of this pattern. Um, I literally had almost only scraps left. I do have a whole sheet. Um, you can just see it there on the left. Um, but I thought I would use as many of the scraps as I could because I knew I had some big pieces that I had to cut in my cut file. Uh, I did back this one a little bit differently to normal in that I have uh, stuck my pattern paper to my cut file without trimming it out. I'm just going back in with my fussy cutting scissors and trimming that down. Uh, through the magic of YouTube it is all backed. Um, I've done four of them in the mustard yellow and then I've used like a peachy kind of tone, a pinky kind of tone, and then the blue daisies. And I wanted to do something that was going to contrast to those really soft colours for my stars. What I've got here is one of the stars from the cut file. I've just pulled it off the cutting mat, activated some colour there on the right. <clears throat> so I had two ideas. One was I could use the same pet paper that's going around the edge but I wanted to make them sparkly. So I've got this Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Moonstone, it's called. Um, and it is absolutely stunning. <laughs> it's so, so pretty. Um, so that was option one. And then option two is to paint up the stars and um, apply the same paste over the top wasn't sure which colour was going to be the closest match so I'm just doing a really quick sample here the three colours that I've pulled out and remembering to write the names on so, so that I know which one's which so I do have the, the colour samples on the top of the lids as well but the, I just thought this was a much better way of getting a bit more of a colour sample. And I'm pretty sure Steely Blue Eyes is the one that I end up testing. Or is it Witch's Blue? I'm not sure. So you can see I'm just quickly putting a coat on here. I figured it was easiest for me to do a little bit of an experiment. Um, if I was going to go with the painted ones, I was going to pop them up um, in the cut file rather than back the cut file. And if I was going to use the paper ones, I was going to um, 
back of the cat file properly. So you can see here I'm just adding that glimmer paste to my painted one. I'm going to pop all this aside to dry. Um, I haven't written down which colour I use there so I'm not sure. Alright, so what I've got here is my, I believe, uh, I don't think this card stock is trimmed down yet. But I'm just going in and I'm sketching in my pencil lines, making sure that I've got them roughly in about the right place because I do want to add some watercolour to the background. Um, I had this idea in my head, uh, essentially like of the watercolour, the, the rainbow leaking colour is the only way I can think to explain it. Here is my cut file all backed. Um, I ended up going with the pattern paper. You can't really tell but I just preferred the finish on the pattern paper. Um, you can see there I've been experimenting with yellows as well right behind where the photo is going to go which I don't, uh, which I know is going to be covered up. On my right, on the right hand side there I've got um, three of my colours ready to go. This is the blue that I'm using. It is Ride the Tide. It is a um, Creamies by Shimmers. And you can see that, so my cardstock has been gessoed with some clear gesso. And I'm just using a paintbrush. I've gone in first with some water because I did want this to be really quite fluid um, and for the colours to just kind of blend and move, be a bit subtle. Uh, so I've done a quick layer of water where I know the colour's going to go, then I've gone in with the colour and I'm just going to leave that to do its thing for a minute. Uh, I've got here Karen's Coral which is a Lindy's uh, magical powder and you could see that I just tested that. It looked really dark and it absolutely was really dark. Um, so I am, um, I've just taken some more of that into one of the other little uh, pots and added a bit more water and that goes beautifully with like that watercolour pattern in the 6x8 just add a bit more colour so I'm going to do all my other colours and then come back in and do the yellow last um, this is a high stop colour shine this is in blush so again I'm doing the exact same thing I don't think that I've ever actually painted like this with the colour shine and they're actually um, quite thick, I was surprised. Alright, so putting that down, I'm happy with that. Um, I would have preferred if my colours were a little bit over to the right, but that's okay. Um, it's not a big deal in the end, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to come in with my yellow here. Now this video is quite long. I've tried to keep in as much of, as much of the process as I can for you, um, but I also have sped this up more than I normally do. I had over two hours of footage for this one. So um, I, I am sorry for the long video, but I didn't want to, I cut out as much as I could, basically. Uh, so you can see here I'm coming in with my yellow. This is a Shimmers product. It is a... Uh, spritz called Tuscan Sun. So you can see I've added that in right at the bottom where that little tiny rainbow of watercolour is going to be. And I'm just coming in around the edges here and I'm making sure that I've got really soft edges where the colour stops and it goes to the white. But I do want that yellow to be more intense around where the rainbow is. You can see I'm coming back in with those other colours as well. I'm just going to soak that up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so you can see I keep bringing my cut file in. I did want the yellow behind where those stars are. So you can see that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just coming in with some more water, some more colour, letting it kind of move around a little bit, adding a bit more colour where I need it. Um, there's a part, so it, it is my layer and I do add splatters, but tell me what do you think? Um, 
how it is right now without the splatters um, or when you see when I add the splatters um, yeah I'm undecided I do get to that point quite often like do I add splatters don't I add splatters um, okay so I'm going to add some adhesive foam to the back of my cut file because I want to pop that guy up I've backed all of that I've got my title here and I did try to use some of these florals because I knew that this wasn't going to be going into a page protector I, I am going to well I have <laughs> funny story I had gifted it to my friend decided that I wasn't happy with the frame that it was in because you can't see part of um, part of the border and so I've taken it back and I've got it I'm going to put it into a different um, like I've got a shadow box that my husband has made um, so I'm going to do that uh, I'm using this puffy heart because I love them and it is the perfect color I knew I didn't want to add too much embellishing to this page um, that background is really pretty I'm really really happy with how the background came together you'll see in a minute um, and I really love this cut file and this photo um, it's absolutely perfect so I've gone through the ephemera die cuts and pulled out all the florals and I'm going to add I think it's just this one cluster I can't even remember so I've got that happy days with you there as um, that's popped up and then I've got my three florals um, I've just pulled in the three main colors so the pink the yellow and the darker blue and here is what I'm going to do for the edge decided that I needed some more contrast to the page so I've pulled in um, this is not black thread I know it looks black but it's actually um, really dark navy blue I'm really happy with um, the contrast that gives to the page but I'm going to stick down my white cardstock to my frame and here we go with the splatters maybe I should have just left them really close to the rainbow also an option um, but I'm just using that same shimmers color this Tuscan Sun I decided to swap to a paintbrush um, I did I do blow up a lot of these because they bleed because the watercolor is not 100% dry I should know better but yet I still do it too funny um, we may hear a little voice in a minute it is the first thing in the morning and my kids haven't come out yet to say good morning it is the school holidays um, so I've also stitched around that border there using the same dark blue thread um, what I was saying was um, I'm sure I can hear one of them up I've used my T-square ruler to line up the edge of the white cardstock with that rainbow and I'm just going to go in and trim off the excess and I do add some more foam um, because I do have a couple of bits that are a bit sinking um, and I'm going to glue this down a part at a time so a section at a time so I've added glue to the rainbow I'm very carefully going to lay that down and line that up um, in the photos it was really hard to get a photo of this um, in the photos it looks like and even in the video here it looks like that is overlapping it's actually not <laughs> um, I've applied glue to the rest of that cut file and got that stuck down now I muck around with this thread for ages um, I do cut out a big chunk of it and a lot of this video like I said has been sped up more than I normally do as well which helps I don't know I was just being really fussy with this thread I think I wanted more up higher happy with that but still that's not right so I cut out that and I'm just sticking it on now I have to stick my title on before I stick my heart in but I have added glue behind that thread as well and there we go I've added a little bit of foam to, the, to underneath the um, Y and family and I'm just using that new very glimmer paste to hold it in place I used my 
um, six hole punch just to um, keep that rainbow flat as flat as I could. So I'm going to come in here with the thread and stick down my florals and um, yeah, you see, pull it out. I'm like, nope, I'm not loving this. So pull it out, get my florals in place here. Sorry for my head. I'm like, yep, I really like that. So I'm going to stick that down. I do only stick in the middle. Um, I haven't done it yet because, like I said, I did have this in a different frame. Um, and I want to lift up all the edges of the flowers just to give a bit more dimension. So I've stuck all that down. I've added some foam behind these little um, word strips as well. I tried lots of places to add this one in and I just couldn't make it work. So I do go with just the two and they say together and be a rainbow. I'm going to use my T-squared ruler because I do have um, that cut file on a bit of an angle. My photo not quite straight. Um, I do want these straight. I've just been really careful where I've placed those so I don't get any really weird awkward gaps. So I'm coming back in with this thread here. This is the same whole bunch that I used before. Um, but I decided that I had too much. So, um, and I wanted to move it. So I have pulled it apart. Well, unwound it. And you can see here, I'm just using my scissors and whatever, I saw, whatever else I can get my hands on and smushing that in there. I'm going to go ahead and glue that and then um, glue down the ends. And you can see I have also added some more two between those two stars so it looks like there's a bigger piece there and then I've gone back in and added some down underneath the word family. Uh, this I believe is my finishing touch. I'm going to come in with some Nouveau drops. Uh, the colours that I'm using are, um, so Midnight Blue is that first one that I'm putting down and it is a Crystal Drops. This lighter blue is called Duck Egg Blue. This is also a Crystal Drops, so they dry, shiny and pretty. Um, and then the third one that I'm going to use is called Blush. No, wrong thing. Um, it's Rosebud Pink and it's in the Stone Drops. If you haven't seen these ones, they leave a really cool texture. Um, I left this in. I keep having these stupid jams fall off the top. Tell me, do yours do the same thing? Um, so I did smudge some of my drops, uh, but when I when I did that, it was off camera. You couldn't see it, so I cut that footage out. So I've cleaned that up, come back in, added in my um, Nouveau drops, giving you some close-ups here, and onto the photos. Um, as soon as I saw this cut file, I knew it would be perfect for this photo I had of my friend and her kids. Um, I, it, this is just the best photo and it's totally them as a family and they've embraced it, we've embraced like that's just who they are. They're, they're a great match for my little family so <laughs> we all get along really well um, and I gave it to her and she absolutely loves it. So make sure you head over to the Cut To You store to check out the new January releases. Um, like I said, there's some beautiful ones there. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.